And we continue now with the author of the brand new book just out today, Rescuing Sprite, A Dog Lover's Story of Joy and Anguish, nationally syndicated radio talk show host. I call him the great one, Mark Levin. By the way, you have on your website, marklevinshow.com. Right. One word, marklevinshow.com. You, all these dog lovers come out of the wood. They've been telling you their stories. And this is what's so relatable about this. I have a dog 13 years old. I, I can't imagine the thought of, you know, this inevitable day. Well, you know, most of us outlive our dogs. They don't live that long. And no. uh, this day is going to come. But you just have to enjoy as much as you can with them. And we do have a special page on the website for dog lovers, cat lovers. They post their stories. They post the photographs of their dogs. All right. I'm going to ask you the hard question. Yeah. So you describe in this book the day that you have to do this with your dog. How do you live through that? How do you, you know, what was that day like? It was horrible. It was Just horrible. horrible. We had to pick the time. I remember calling our vet. He's my buddy, Chris Hushin, and I said, uh, today's the day. He said, you're right. He came to the house. But we waited for him, and I was watching the clock every minute of that clock. I didn't know whether to wish it moved faster or slower. But it was like waiting for the Grim Reaper, because you knew what the outcome was going to be. And uh, when it was over and he left, I was just devastated, I absolutely devastated. I, I talked to you that hour, and you said you hung up. You wouldn't talk to me. I mean, you couldn't talk to I me. I didn't talk to anybody. You didn't talk to anybody. No. And, you know, I wonder if it is, Mark, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm somebody who's lost both my parents, and that's a hard thing in life for anybody. But I, there's something magical about these animals. I've got two of them, Snowball and Duffy. And they become, and I'm not comparing it to losing a parent, but they become members, close, they bond. You could, doesn't matter what kind of day you have, right. you walk in that door, and these guys are there. It's so glad to see you. And that's the reason. Yeah. There's not a sour, sour bone in their body, nothing. They're just there to love you unequivocally. You know what I found fascinating, Mark, is yeah. how you talk in this book about how you, and you touched on it in the last segment, reevaluated your career as a res you did an incredible amount of soul searching as a result of this event. Why? You know, I was going to write a different book about politics and philosophy, and I, there were several publishers interested in that. And uh, I told David Limbaugh, who's my agent, I said, uh, tell him, forget it. I'm not interested. And he said, well, what do you mean? I said, I, I don't want to do it anymore. And I basically wrote an essay to myself. I wrote an essay to the family about Sprite and the other dogs and our family. I mean, really, this is a family thing. You lost a family member. And uh, I told him, go to the publishers and tell them I'll write a dog book. Well, you know, you figure that's going to go over pretty uh, poorly. Uh, but one publisher, Simon & Schuster, said, OK, we'll do that. Um, but to reevaluate, maybe I, I don't want to do radio anymore. Maybe I don't want to do my career anymore. Maybe I want to give it all up. Well, I was talked out of it by Hannity and Rush Limbaugh. And uh, I'll, t I'll tell you why. Because I still am doing something differently than I otherwise would. For instance, a big chunk of the money I get from this book is going to go into these shelters and these animal welfare yeah. places. This is a whole world I knew nothing about. Now I've seen it. Now people need to wake up to it. And, and hopefully people will adopt very, some very, of these Very books. interesting exchange of the book yeah. with Rush. Yeah. There's some, an I, instant message exchange. I think you. people will be fascinated by that. Yeah. And he showed you, as Sean did, a great deal of support. But I noticed you didn't have any liberal friends in the book, so I was not at I didn't have your phone number. Yeah. You kept okay. hanging up on me. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, congratulations Thank on you. a, on a very fascinating and emotionally yeah. important book. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.